Hello and welcome to day one of my scrap wood angel craft. So day one, maybe with the children, or it may be with yourself if you're an adult, um, or if you're working with small children. So the first thing you're going to need is some scrap wood, and you don't want it. You want it. This is about two, about three centimeters by two centimeters diameter, and this bit is a little bit flatter. And you can see they're not very good quality; they're a bit chewed up because that's what scrap wood is. And I've also got a little bit of dowel. Um, well, this is actually a bit of curtain pole, but you can use, I've also used uh, like broom handle, that's fine as well. And you are going to need a power tool, it's definitely a power drill and a saw. If you're going to do it yourself, or you're doing it for a large quantity as I am, you'll be using a power saw, some kind of jigsaw. Or if you're doing it with children in the classroom, you could use a hand saw, that's completely fine as well. All right, so I've cut my bits of wood and I've cut them to roughly about 12 centimetres long. And they're slightly different diameters, that's completely fine. There's even like little curves on some that all adds to the charm, as I say. And I've also cut my broom handle or curtain pole up. These are two different sizes here. And the, this, the bit that you will need the power drill for is I've drilled a hole all the way through the head because that's going to be the angel head. So the thickness of these, it's kind of less than one centimetre but not much less because you need enough you don't want it to break in half once you drill through okay and that's all you need to do on day one hi and welcome to day two of my scrap wood angel craft so today is something you'll be doing with the children that is painting your little bits of wood uh, you can use i wouldn't advise you use poster paint i would use emulsion and i've got I've, i'm actually using a bit of primer here because that's what i've got lying around um but a white that would be best and you just, now, if you're painting by yourself, obviously you know how to paint. If you're painting with children, I would get them to stand it up. And I always recommend putting it on plastic rather than paper because the paper will stick to the craft if you use paper, whereas plastic will peel off. So with older children, what I've done is I get them to put their finger on the top. If you're doing a number, a number of children, I'd write their name on the bottom so you don't get the muddle up after. And then you just paint your wood and then they can hold it, hold it still at the top and then paint all the way around the sides. Now, if you are doing it with younger children, I'll show you what to do in a minute because they probably won't be able to hold it up like that. So here we go, let's just get these painted. So you can see that I've painted my angels. And if you're an adult or an older child, you can now just leave these standing up to dry overnight because you don't need to do anything with them till tomorrow. If you're working, going to be working with younger children for the painting, you might want to prep them. I'm planning to do this craft with 45, three, four and five year olds and I'll show you the angels that I've prepped to use with them in class next week. Right, because I want to do this class with 45 smaller children, I've prepped these, I've cut them and I've painted one side and that's because I'm going to lie them on the table on the plastic because young children will just won't be able to cope with them standing up and they'll just paint them flat and I haven't put their names on the bottom or the top because the children will paint everything they can see because that's how young children use paint so I've put their name on the back I've actually put a date as well um because they're going to take these home for Christmas so that bit's already done and they will then paint um all the rest that they can see and leave those to dry brilliant see you tomorrow Welcome to day three of my Scrapwood Angel craft project. So today is the fun day. Um, you're going to have your painted bits of angel body. I know they don't look much like angels at the moment, but they will do, trust me. And then I've got a little selection of sparkly pens, gold and silver and sparkly um, other colours. And I've got some buttons as well. We're going to choose some light coloured buttons for our angels. Um, let me show you what you have to do. So um, I've chosen some buttons. For this first angel and i'm going to choose i have got lots of buttons but i'm going to choose lighter colored ones because predominantly you want the color to be white and i like blue so i've chosen a very pale blue as well so any of these like a pale green or a pale yellow would be fine um you could you could choose a bigger one like some of these buttons are beautiful but i wouldn't choose obviously the big chunky buttons or anything too bright because it's meant to look quite angelic now for the pens we're just going to draw patterns so it's going to be like fabric so you can do any pattern that you want and this is going to largely depend on the age of the children you're working with. With my younger children, next week I'm going to be using these chunky, sharpy, um, colour, gold coloured pens. But for older children, they could use the thinner pens. And it's going to very much depend on each child's ability. You could do stripes or spots, um, swirls, flowers, anything like that. You may want to 
give them examples of different patterns they could do first. And it doesn't have to go down the sides, it can just be on the front, that's fine. It's mainly the front of the angel that we're worried with, worried about, I should say. All right. So there we go, that's my patterns, my angels ready for the next stage. Hi and welcome to day four of my scrap wood angel craft. So today we're going to be sanding our angels down to give them that kind of rustic look. So you should have your beautifully decorated angels and you should have, you need your sandpaper for sanding them down. And then afterwards we're going to attach the heads, which are just those blank rounds. And to do that, you'll need a couple of nails and a hammer. So older children could do this, younger children are going to need supervised. Obviously, if you're an adult, you should be fine with that. Right, well, this is a fun stage for the children to do because we're just sanding the edges of our angels to make them look rustic. And obviously, you don't want to fr um, dis disturb your decoration. So it's just the edges. So you just explain to the children that you're going to do all the edges of your angel. And you want it to you want to just wear away those edges um, you can use the top of the sandpaper if you want to be more specific but um, smaller children definitely can just if you explain not to hold it flat and it will just wear away enough to make it look good so I've sanded all my angels they're looking good I really like the way they look now the sides as well um, and now I need to add the heads. So we've got our heads here with our nails. And all you're doing is you're putting a nail through the head and then tap with the hammer. And you can get children to do this if they're not too. I've done it with eight year olds, that's fine. Obviously if they're younger, you're gonna have to do it yourself. Pop it on the top where you want it. And then tap, tap, tap. you go and suddenly they're looking much more angelic so here are my scrap wood angels and suddenly with their heads they look a lot more angelic I did tell you they'd start to look like angels so they're all ready for the next stage which is tomorrow and we're going to be adding the wings onto these well done hi and welcome to the final day of my scrap wood angel craft now it's starting to look a little bit more like an angel now so you've got your sandy down wood with whatever decoration you've actually put a head on. And today, today we're going to put the wings on. Now there are several options for the wings. Um, with my small children, I'm going to use wire and I'm going to attach them with a small screw. So I will put the small screw in first and then the children can bend the wires round. Um, if it's older children, you could also give them pliers to use, but it, soft wire should be able to do it with their fingers. If you want to try something a little bit more daring, you can use quince cans, which you can cut with just normal scissors. Okay, and you can draw on and cut the shape round, attach it with a screw. I'll show you how to do that. Um, if you've got tin snips, you can use something like this. this is a bit of old baked bean can that has been opened out and left to rust a little bit to give it a bit of a rustic look. And you can just cut them with your tin snips, which older children could use. The only reason I'm not doing those with those, my small children is because the edges are a little bit sharp and I'm just worried about them hurting their fingers on them. Okay, let me show you what to do. Right, so for my wire method, I've cut a piece of wire that's about 20 centimetres long, just roughly, and you can see that I've screwed the screw into the back there. So the children, or whoever you're working with, is going to bend your wire around just to attach it, and then they can, attach, they can bend the wings to make whatever shape they would like. Okay. There you go. And there's your first method of attaching wings. Right, so, so my second method is I've got a drinks can here. I'm going to put it underneath my angel and I'm gonna roughly draw the shape that I want. Let's have I'm gonna do it so it joins in the middle because obviously I'm gonna to have to attach it to the back. And then you can just use your scissors 
that around. Just be careful of the... If, you, if you're working with older children, just warn them that the edges are sharp, but they should be okay. Um, it won't cause any serious harm, I don't think. So I've cut out my wings. You can just rub the felt tip off and then I've used the tip of my sharp screw to make a little hole about where I want to attach it at the back. And then you just screw it into the back exactly the same way. And there are your aluminium, aluminium can wings. Fantastic. Right, let's try the last method, shall we? So for this method, we're going to use actual uh, like a food tin um, this is a little bit rusty but you can use a fresh one and you're going to do basically the same method you're going to draw around the shape that you want with felt tip but to cut it out you won't be able to cut it with normal scissors you're going to need tin snips so this needs specialist equipment if you have the tin snips and they're perfectly safe for oldest children to use otherwise you could pre-cut them yourself and we're going to attach it the same way uh, make a hole and screw it onto the back There we go so we've got our three different types of wings here and then your angels are finished fantastic good luck with making these everybody